Um, I'm Eric Kazaki. This is my first presentation ever done here. I'll be talking about IndexedDB. Here's my website, my Twitter, and my GitHub. So IndexedDB is the HTML5 standard for um, database of key values and hierarchical objects in the browser. It's basically a JavaScript um, database in your client. If you open up the Chrome browser and go to the Resources tab, under IndexedDB, there is an IndexedDB database ready for you to use. It has excellent support in Chrome and Firefox. You will need a polyfill for IE and Safari right now. Um, the reason you'd use IndexedDB is you want to store more than 5 megabytes of data on the client. And local storage, the other API for storing a data on the client, only supports 5 megabytes. Each database you create with IndexedDB is um, per domain, so if you create a, a database on index, like erikazaki.com, and you go to google.com, they will not be able to read the, the, uh, your own database, those databases. Um, IndexedDB is a NoSQL type database like MongoDB, if you've used that before, but it does have transactions, it does not have uh, SQL query <coughs> language, it has a basic JavaScript API, and this, it, has, it has no foreign keys or joins, as you would expect from NoSQL. It supports transactions, indexes, CRUD operations, and it's asynchronous, and it's a component of offline applications, but you need a lot more than that just to, just to do um, offline. And I'll be basically, I'll be skipping these slides. Basically, there's a database, there's a database that has multiple object stores. You think of an object store as a table, and each row has a key and a value, and you can put an index on a uh, key, and every single thing you do in IndexedDB is transaction based by request. There is a read only transaction for read operations and read write up, read, read write transactions for um, other ones. All right, so demo uh, 28. So if I look at the resources here, I have index DB, uh, DB database here. Um, here's the key, here's the, here's the JavaScript object. If I go in up here and I change the description, save and refresh, it's changed my data, and I can delete this data out of here too. If I if I view a source, I go out of my demo, make it a little bit bigger. So the important code is not this UI code. The important code for this demo is. <clears throat> So database name, um, to create, a, create an index DB database, you have to do an open operation on a database name and have a version for it. Every single time you change the version, you change the schema. Once you open up the database, um, you can get a reference to it. And then um, there is this unupgraded um, needed event where you create the tables or the object stores for the database. So I'm creating my employees object store with a key path of ID and auto increments that key does every single time you you uh, add a new one, and then everything in IndexedDB is transaction based. So you create a transaction, and then you work in an object store. Here I'm using a function that just uh, eliminates some of that boilerplate. And I'm just going to go over the CRUD API real quick. Um, it'll be a store add, and there's a callback for adding. For iterating over a uh, object store, there's a cursor. And uh, you can continue on that or finish, and this is how you detect that. You can get something by ID. You can update some, uh, an object, put, and you can delete something with delete by ID. Um, okay, let me get back to my presentation. Okay, um, so if you want to learn more about IndexedDB, There's this, here, here's some good resources. How to delete IndexedDB in Chrome. Um, the W3C um, specification for it. This is actually where you want to go if you want to learn the API. This uh, Mozilla article is, is really the starting point for learning uh, IndexedDB. And then there's wrappers 
the index DB, DB API itself is very verbose and it doesn't have promises. Um, it's actually pretty unwieldy, so I would actually not recommend using it directly. Here's a good uh, wrapper library, it's called IDB Wrapper. I've used it before in applications. And then there's an AngularJS um, wrapper for it. And there's actually something called WebSQL for storing data on the client. And this is a, this is a discussion on why Mozilla decided to use IndexedDB DB as the um, actual um, standard. And here's my, my code and presentation on there. Oh, I actually did, went really fast, so questions? Yep. Uh, does it work with web workers? Can you talk to IndexedDB? Yes, you can do, uh, web worker can open up IndexedDB and yes. I think there's actually an example online. Yep. What were you saying about promises with, with it? It does not support it out of the box. You'll need a you'll, you'll need a wrapper rate, wrapper library that has promises. Like there's a IDB wrapper jQuery library that has promises. Otherwise, it's a bunch of callback code. Yep. Does it have polyfill for IE? Do you also need one for edge? Um, I think you might, but I've actually used used IndexedDB in IE 11, and it was actually okay. So. But recommended. You know how that security works? You said security by domain. Do, but by domain. So um, if I create an index DB on, on my website, erikazaki.com, and I go to google.com, and that my, uh, my database I created on erikazaki.com does not actually show up on the google.com. So it doesn't even show up. That's what I was, what I was trying to say. I'm not sure if that was clear. I, I get that, but is. Uh, not knowing enough about it, I would think that it would there would be ways to circumvent that. So I was wondering if you knew more in depth about the security. Um, you can actually go into Chrome internals and actually see every single database that can be looked at. But the other other domain, they can't do a database interaction with another domain's database. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yep. Now there might be a security risk if you had a like own. Cross-site scripting that was able to access that database because it right. might be running on the same domain, right? Um, but that might be more than just your database you can worry about. Yep. That's questions. All right. Thanks, Eric. Yep.